afternoon we have now a named storm in the extreme southern Gulf of Mexico. So this is the same thing we've been talking about all weekend was upgraded to tropical depression status and now as of about an hour ago has been named a tropical storm. So this is the earliest third sea storm named storm on record for the Atlantic. By the way, the previous record was Colin from June 5th and instead it's June 2nd this year that this happened and that was back in 2016. Our tropical storm is here in the southern Gulf of Mexico. You can see for sure, right? The circulation around the low pressure area, clouds, showers and convection, thunderstorms starting to form kind of around the center. So certainly a bit more kind of that typical sort of tropical storm look to satellite imagery here in the Bay of Campania compared to what we were seeing yesterday when it was still extremely messy. It may stay somewhat messy as we head into the next couple of days. But again, as I pointed out, we're seeing it get close to land here, probably just kind of hovering, lingering in the same general area. And again, I want to stress, it may not be until Saturday that this thing makes it north of the Yucatan Peninsula or maybe somewhere near the Yucatan Peninsula, maybe a bit farther to the west and gets out over the southern Gulf of Mexico or central Gulf of Mexico by that point and then continues its track toward the Gulf Coast. Still a lot of uncertainty, so we don't know where this thing is heading. But as you can see, it does look like it may kind of meander in that same spot for a while. This would be our spaghetti model plots, the computer models showing where it might be. And this is on Sunday, so this is a long way away, but it looks like maybe starting Sunday we could have at least some heavy rain associated with it, and that could last into Monday and Tuesday. And by the Way, we it was upgraded to tropical storm status because hurricane hunters did find some evidence of winds and set those maximum sustained winds now at 40 miles per hour. So just a very uh, weak nudge into that tropical storm status as opposed to tropical depression. Here's kind of the pattern that we're looking at. This again takes us all the way through Saturday. So still several days out, three to four days out, and it may still be in the southern Gulf of Mexico by then. This is one of these things we're going to be talking about for a long time time several days and that can be a good thing. We will know more as we get into the rest of this week, maybe especially Thursday and Friday. But here's a big upper high that will kind of be moving across as we head into the weekend. And around that high, you can see that it may start possibly a couple models, including the Euro and the GFS, are kind of moving it off to the west. And as you know, that would put us on the wetter side of the storm, maybe with perhaps some other tropical impacts uh, like perhaps some coastal flooding that we often see with these sustained winds with tropical systems to the south of our coastline. And then this is by Monday night. Notice this, by the way, I'm showing you the Euro model uh, just to give you an idea here. Don't take it literally, but just to give you the idea, it may be inland by that point, perhaps if it does make it there. Our seven day rain totals, as you can see, uh, sorry, went through that one too fast, but it does look like it might be through Tuesday morning up to about three or four inches of rain for our area with maybe higher amounts off to the east. So with these kind of messy tropical storm type systems, the rainfall can be spread really across the Gulf Coast with some heavier swaths, perhaps really far from the center. So again, one of these things we don't want to focus too much on the center, although of course we'll be talking about that too, but the rain may be more widespread. So where will it go? Too early to say if it stays west, we may get rain again starting Sunday associated with that. We'll know more Thursday and Friday when it begins to move north and how strong the intensity forecasts are notoriously a bit harder, but there's warm water and weak shear right now, but there's dry air coming off of mountains in Mexico, plus it's near land, so it probably won't strengthen that much in the next few days, although some moderate strengthening or modest strengthening is forecast. And then in the Gulf this weekend, there will be warm water when it moves north or potentially moves north, but there could still be some wind shear at that point. It's 87 in New Orleans. We have clouds right now. As we look at our temperatures again, not too bad because of the cloud cover and not that much showing up on radar right now, but there are some showers to our south. We may see about a 30% chance for a few of these showers today with highs probably only in the 80s. And then tonight we'll be looking for lows in the 70s. Tomorrow with an upper level low pressure area that you probably saw on that quick model run that I showed you that may enhance the rain chance a bit to about 50 to 60 60%. So a few more showers or downpours around tomorrow. Very typical 30% rain chances Thursday and Friday. And then the end of the weekend is when we'll really have to watch for potential impacts, perhaps from Tropical Storm Cristobal. Lots more, of course, will be coming up.
A lot more to come is right. All right, thanks, Alexandra. Well, if you're frustrated with the speed of your internet these days, you are